Right, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade English, week number 10 and day number 3. Alright, so today's lesson is going to be about phonics and spelling. And we are going to be specifically talking about sound pa patterns EI and IE. Alright, somebody say that with me. EI and IE. Alright. So the vowel digraph EI, which a digraph, a digraph in English is when you merge two vowels together. So when you have a vowel digraph, that's going to be like E and I, for example. When you merge those two vowels together, uh, they may be pronounced as the long E sound, like in C's or recipt. Uh, and sometimes they can make a long A sound as well, like in freight or like in sleigh, all right? So we are gonna try to work through those exercises over here to reinforce this understanding in our minds concerning EI, and then later on we are gonna do IE sound pattern, all right? So take a look at this example over here. Question number one, the Israelites are stubborn. Like a stubborn, guess what? Hafer is gonna be over here, stubborn, Hafer. Okay, so that's what he means. All right, so that, that's the way you pronounce it. You're welcome to check that and validate that from your dictionary, Webster's 1828 Dictionary, dictionary.com, or paper copy of a dictionary. Welcome, you're welcome to, to, to see how that's gonna be pronounced for you. Question number two, for I take no pleasure in the death of anyone, declares the blank Lord. What does that mean? It declares the sovereign Lord. So sovereign is gonna be spelled like this and you see that the word the last part of the syllable sovereign is not sovereign it's not sovereign it's sovereign it sounds like a long a sound sovereign all right question number three you will blank and give birth to a son and you are to call his name call him Jesus all right you will conceive you see that word conceive is going to be the long e sound conceive question number four when a blank resides among you in your land do not mistreat them what does it mean over there when a foreigner foreigner okay you see that word foreign it's like a long a sound even though it's spelled e and i question number five as dead flies give perfume a bad smell so a little folly blank wisdom and honor all right what's the meaning of that a little folly outweighs wisdom and honor so that's going to be outweighs to see that long a sound over here all right but samuel said the lord has, ch has not chosen this one blank this one this one either it can goes like either or either sometimes sometimes some people call it either uh, or either all right uh, question number seven do not merely listen to the word and so blank yourselves do what it says deceive yourselves that's what this one is gonna be do not uh, deceive yourself well that's a long e sound all right uh, question number nine or question number eight the, this Passover was celebrated in the blank year of Josiah the king. In the 18th year, you see the word 18th is going to have a long A sound to it. 18th year of Josiah the king. Question number nine. Let us not become blank, provoking and envying each other. Let us not become conceited. All right. So it's going to be conceited. Conceited. All right, you see the word, the, the letters E and I over here, they give us a long E sound, long E sound. All right, don't let us be conceited. All right, question number 10. You know, when I sit and when I rise, you blank my thoughts from afar. Well, what's that going to be? You uh, perceive, you perceive my thoughts, perceive my thoughts from afar. You can see that the letters E and I 
sounded like the long E sound. Perceive. All right. Great work. Now, question number 11. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet blank their soul? Well, yet forfeit. All right. So it's going to be forfeit. Okay. Four feet. All right. So you can see that the letters E and I, when put together, made a long E sound for feet, their souls. All right. Now, uh, we're going to switch right now to the digraph, which has letters I and E put together. And we're going to try to see words that contain those kind of sounds. And sometimes it can be like a long E sound, or sometimes it can be like a long I sound, like in reprieve or like in pie. All right. So question number one. He thwarts the plans of the crafty so that their hands blank no success. So their hands, uh, let's see, so that their hands achieve no success. <coughs> All right, so it's going to be achieve no success. All right, see that long E sound over here. Question number two. Mohab will be destroyed as a nation because she blanked the Lord. Because she, uh, let's see here, she defied the Lord. All right, defied. All right, you see that the, that uh, digraph is going to sound like I, the long I sound. All right. Question number three, I blank my heart to what I observed and learn a lesson from what I saw. What's that over here? I applied my heart to what I learned. So that's going to be applied. And see again, that's a long I sound. So um, letters I and E, the digraph I, E sounded like a long I sound. All right. Question number four, but he was blank for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. What's that? Uh, blank over there. He was pierced. He was pierced. Let's see, pierced for our transgressions, and he was uh, crushed for our iniquities. All right. Question number five. Blank the troubles of my heart, and free me from my anguish. All right. So let's see. What does this mean over here? Uh, relieve the troubles of my heart so that's gonna be relieve relieve the troubles of my heart all right question number six the impure spirit shoot the man violently and came out with a shriek all right it's gonna be shriek all right which is, which is a long screeching sound shriek all right he shakes the nations in the blank of destruction he shakes the nations in the uh, in the sieve of destructions. Sieve of destructions. All right. Question number nine. Um, you say to God, my blank are flawless, and I am pure in your sight. You say to God, my. Uh, let's see here. my beliefs so let's try that so my beliefs beliefs are flawless okay uh, question number nine though an army blank me my heart will not fear though an army besiege me all right see that long e sound besiege me all right question number ten have you understood all these things Jesus asked yes they replied okay replied is going to be another long i sound even though he has a digraph i e to it question number 11 yet when you blank on the lord he delivered them into your hands when you uh let's see here uh when you relied on the lord it's going to be relied on the lord all right, you see that long I sound over there? Good. Uh, question number 10. Blank weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. What's that? Anxiety. 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 See that long I sound over there? Anxiety. 
All right, so thank you for going through that exercise with me. So what you're gonna do is to try to validate the, these words in your dictionary. You're welcome to turn to dictionary.com and confirm all of that. So that's what I got for you today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you and so do it. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born.